Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to buy the MyBricks token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step everything you have to do in order to buy this token. But before we get started here, I'm just going to let you guys know that I do have daily cryptocurrency tutorials coming out on this channel. So if you guys are interested in crypto and you want to learn how to buy, how to sell, and lots more, I really recommend subscribing to this channel as I'll have lots of content coming out now and into the future. Anyhow, first things first, we're just going to head over to our Trust Wallet and open that up. And once we're in our Trust Wallet here, I'm just going to let you guys know I'm not going to show you how to create your Trust Wallet or how to buy or transfer BNB into your Trust Wallet inside of this video. If you guys need to learn how to do that, I'll have separate tutorials linked in the description and in the comment section down below if that is needed. So you can go ahead and watch that first and then come back here once you have your BNB inside of your Trust Wallet. And just to let you guys know as well, you do have to have your BNB inside of your Smart Chain Wallet. So if you have your balance in your BNB wallet right here, you just want to make sure you click on that. Click on more and click on swap to smart chain. If the BNB is not in your smart chain wallet, it will not show up on pancake swap and it won't let you swap it. So it's very important that you have the amount of BNB that you want to swap inside of your smart chain wallet. Anyhow, once you have that done here, all we have to do is go to get the contract address from CoinMarketCap. So I'll have a link in the description for CoinMarketCap and you just have to go to that link and I'll show you guys what to do. And once you guys are on CoinMarketCap, we just have to go to where it says contracts right here and just go to this little copy button and click on the copy button. Once it's copied, we can head back into our trust wallets. And all we have to do is go to the top right corner of the screen where we see the two lines and two circles and click on that. And then we just have to paste the contract address up in the top search. Once we do that, we'll see this add custom token button. So we can click on add custom token. And all we have to do here is change this network from Ethereum over to Smart Chain. And then we can just paste the contract address in. Everything else will load in automatically like the names, the symbols, and the decimals. So once you see that there, we can just go to the top right corner and click on save. Once that is done there, we are now ready to go to PancakeSwap. So you guys just want to head over to the next link I have in the description for PancakeSwap and I'll show you guys what to do next. And once you guys are on PancakeSwap for the first time here, we just have to connect our wallets. So if we just go to the top right corner of the screen where we see the connect wallet button, we can click on that. And then here we'll see trust wallet. So we can go ahead and click on trust wallet. And then it's going to pop up this here asking us to choose our preferred wallet. You guys can choose any one of these wallets if you'd like to, but I'm going to be showing you guys with trust wallet in this video. So we can just go ahead and click on trust wallet one more time. And then we'll get this connect screen right here. So all we have to do now is click on connect and then head back over to our PancakeSwap. We'll know our wallet's connected when we see our wallet icon in the top right corner, as well as our balance of BNB right above BNB right here. And remember, for whatever reason, if you guys don't see your balance of BNB right here, it's just because it's not in your smart chain wallet. So just go ahead and make sure it's in your smart chain wallet. Now all we have to do is click on select a currency and just paste that contact address in in the search bar. We will then see the BRICS token, so we just go ahead and click on that. I've already had it added to my pancake swap, but you guys will just have an import button, so you have to click on import. And then you can go ahead and add the token and then it will appear right here in your swap screen. Now all we have to do is change the slippage tolerance to 8%. And to do that, we just want to go to the side where it says exchange, click on the little settings gear. And then right here, we can change this to 8%, just like this, and then exit out. Now, once we have that done here, we just have to decide how much BNB that we want to transfer into the BRICS token. So we just go ahead and put the amount here. And then it will show us an estimated amount that we'll get of the BRICS token. Now, if you guys are comfortable and okay with what you see here, you can go ahead and click on the swap button where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. Once you guys click on swap for the first time, you'll be brought to another page where it's going to show you a broken down version of your transaction, showing you your fees and things like that. Now, if you're happy with that as well, you can click on swap one more time and then you'll get a successful transaction notice. Once you get that notice, we can head back into our trust wallet and your tokens will appear here usually within two minutes. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out, show you guys how to buy the MyRix token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.